Well, you didn't do anything. Nope. Not a thing. Not a thing. <laughs> Our first shout out goes to Life with Anthony. Shout out to you and Landon too. That rhyme. Yes, it did. Okay. And Anthony's been around for a while. He's had two other channels. Not sure what the first one was called. I can't remember. But the second one was Landon and Family. Well, he is starting a new adventure in his life. And he is going to be vlogging every day. He's going to have ups and he's going to have downs. But I think we all need to go over and check out Life with Anthony. Give him a thumbs up. And hit that red subscribe button. Show him some love and support and follow along in his journey. He is an awesome guy and he has the cutest little son in the world. So thumbs up to you, Anthony, and we will be there following you along every step of the way. Next shout out goes to, I'm going to spell it out because I cannot figure out what it says. XX space e c zero a s s a s i n x x x x echo assassin or e c o assassin x x something like that something along those lines welcome to the neighborhood why do you have to complicate things <laughs> <laughs> okay and then we have Painful Patty, welcome to the neighborhood. And she wants to know where I get all my little, uh... Data boppers. Deal or whatever he said. Data boppers. Where do I get them? Yeah, we got a lot of them uh, last Halloween for, uh... At, uh, like, Spirit Halloween and various other Halloween stores. And then a lot of the se other seasonal stuff we just get at Walmart. Yep. They have them there. Yep, and these, I am an alien disguised as a bee. I'm not a bee. Shh, don't tell anybody. And BMBS brought up the video about Mom's Vlogs. Just in case none of you know, Mom's Vlog is offering to teach your children how to crawl in their sleep. So, she's got an ad up. Teaching your children to crawl in, your, in their sleep to the age of 35. Just go ahead and click on Mom's Vlog 80 and find that vlog and hit her up if you need to teach your children how to crawl up until the age of 35. Okay. Sorry, Mel. I had to go there. <laughs> My question of the day yesterday was... What was your question? Go ahead. My question of the day yesterday was, if you could be a superhero, and it couldn't be one that already existed, you needed to make up your own, what would your name be, and what would your superpower be? Um, Jay the Cannabis Explorer, his name would be Cannabis Man, and his power what would be... What a surprise. <laughs> and his power would be to make beautiful cannabis. Tanya Longley, I love hers, the amazing cat lady, and her power would be saving animals from abuse and finding them loving homes. Is it the crazy cat lady? Oh, amazing cat lady. The ama I'm the crazy cat lady. You're just the crazy lady. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life, her name would be Super Angie, and she would have the power of flight. Do, 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 do. Is it a plane? Is it a bird? No, it's Ange, Super Angie! Oh, oh. <laughs> Greg Myers, he would be Brain Man, and he would have telekinesis. Mm. Betsy Wetsy, I liked hers too. She would be Super Traveler, and she would have the power to transport anywhere, anytime. And the first place she would come is here to visit us. Cool. One Blazing Eagle One, he would be a soul reaper, and soul he would take reaper. the bad out of people and replace it with good. Cole Today, you're going to have to say that one. Uh, Cole Today, where's Cole Today? This is Elekin, the name, which is her name backwards, by the way. Yes, and it would be the power, power. of 
healing. And yeah. believe me, eloquent, 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 I need you. <laughs> yeah. Jack Sa Salmon, he would be a vice man, and his power would be giving knowledge yeah. to those who need it. <laughs> We're not going to go on to the... You know, <laughs> the Abyss, 92882, he would be the super farter, and he would knock out criminals with his farts. And if we still had Cain here, who Cain went back up to Big Bear to stay with his Auntie Faith, he would have been your sidekick, because believe me, his farts could have knocked everybody out. Okay, then we have Susie here. She would have been karaoke girl, and she would be sharing music around the world, which I think is beautiful because I would love music. And Bambi S, her super name, or her, her superhero name would be Super Doctor Mom. And she says, no disrespect for any doctors. She has the utmost respect for them. She, being a parent of a child with special needs and being with them 24-7, the parent gets to, knows, gets to know the ins and outs of their child better than the doctors. So that's why she would be super doctor mom. I would be Paula Bear Woman. Okay. And I would have the power to make the world as cold as I want it. Oh, jeez. All the time. Just my Not little just enclosed space. Good, good. Okay? Yes, but she's already but, freezing me out of that. But house. if I wanted to expand my space, I could expand it. So if he ever made me very angry, I could freeze him. That's right. What, what, what would you be? I told you, it was going to be Beard Man. Oh, so that was serious yesterday. Of course. And your superpower is to store food. Well, it's going to be my, my utility beard. I'll be pulling things out of it like Batman pulls stuff out of his belt. My question for today is... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> if... <laughs> If they were going to make, if they were going to make a movie out of your life, who would you want to play you in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? There's your question. It's time for neighborhood community credit roll. Credit roll. Okay. Yeah, yesterday I realized that uh, I didn't actually answer the question. Would question the movie was um, um, Night of the Ghouls, and uh, the reason why it wasn't released until, and we're not sure if it's 83 or 87 anymore, anymore since we have two different uh, dates, uh, is because poor Ed Wood was broke and he couldn't afford to pay for the developing, so the, um, the processing company refused to let it go to him until he came up with the money, and he never did. So uh, the person who did finally get it uh, was told that it was there by uh, somebody who knew Ed Wood, and so he paid the fee and got the and got the movie and released it. Okay, and uh, tonight's one was about the craft, right? 1996. Why was Robin Tunney wearing a wig? And the reason is she had just wrapped up making the movie. Empire Records, where she shaped her head. So that's the answer to that, and the people who have the answer to that is Terry Johnson, Cole Today, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, and Bambi S. Yay! And I actually answered the question. This next one's a little strange. Dementia 13. Oh, that's a classic. Do you remember that one? Yeah, good movie. 1963, black and white, written and directed first direction movie by Francis Ford Coppola. Um, why 13? What's 13 all about? Why is 13 in the title? That's my question. There you have it, your trivia question for the night. 
you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you. Oh.